uh, the purpose of this video is to show you the relationship between table equations and graph. Uh, so in maths, you come across many situations where you have been given a table of numbers, x and y's or any uh, letters, uh, and then you want to find the whether you can write an equation between these two uh, given variables and then graph it. So I, I'll try to go in this order from the table. I'll try to form an equation and then from that we'll draw it. So let us say uh, you got two set of numbers. One is x and the other is y. Say when x is 2, y is 7. Okay. When x is say 6, y is 9. When x is 7, it is 9.5. When x is 12, it is 12. And when x is 14, it is 13. So I think, let us draw the graph and see what type of graph is this. So it says when x is 2, y is 7. So this is 2 on your x-axis and 7 on the y-axis. So this point, you can say it is 2, 7. Okay, so when x is 2, y is 7. The next is when x is 6, y is 9. So the point may come here. So this is 6, 9. The next point, I'll draw one more point and the rest you don't need even to plot it. So when x is 7, uh, I'll not plot that. I'll plot when x is 12, y is 12. When x is 12, y is 12. So this is this point. 12, 12. I think that's enough. So let's draw the draw the line. So I'll try to bring the ruler. Uh, I'll use the line tool. Okay, so let me delete this. So the line tool. So I'll use the line tool. So this is my line. I'll draw a line joining these two points or these three points. So now I'll have to do some adjustment here. So let me. So this is the line. Okay, let me drag this slightly. So here, this is the line, okay? And if you want to plot the other points, you can see when x is 6, uh, when x is 7, y is 9.5, okay? So this is 9.5, that all automatically comes on the line. And when x is 14, y is 13. So this is the 14 and 13. So from the graph, we can see that this is the e equation or uh, the graph is of a straight line. Now we want to write the equation. So we have, we've got the table. From the table we have drawn the graph. Let's see how to write the equation. Now to write the equation, that, now you know this is an equation now, and the equation is a straight line. Okay. Now to write the equation of a line, you need to know two things. One is the y-intercept, so let me write. Uh, Two requirements, okay, let me write like this, two requirements, requirements for equation of a line, any line, equation of a line. There are two requirements, two and only two. One is the y-intercept. The y-intercept is the point where the graph cuts the y-axis. Okay, so here you're asking where does the line cut the y-axis? This is the first question. The y-axis, that is the y-intercept. The second question is, what is the gradient? Hmm? Gradient in some some country or some books, they also call it the slope. They are one and the same. Okay, or the, so that is, that is, uh, the slope is defined as the change in y, change in y over change in x. This is the definition of gradient. This is change in y over change in x, which is also called rise over run commonly known as rise over run. rise is the change in y 
and run is the change in x. So let us look at uh, the graph. Okay, let us look at uh, the table. So can we find the gradient from the table? So what's the change in y? This is the change in y. Here this is changing by 2 and here this is changing by 4. So let me write the gradient here. So let me make up a table of gradient. Gradient we defined as the change in y over change in x. So for these two values, the gradient is 2 over 4, which is 0.5 or a half. Okay, now if you look at these two points, what's the change here? The change is, here it is 0 0.5, and here the change is 1. Okay, so if you find, so this is 0.5 over 1, which is 0 0.5. Okay, so let me look at one more. What's the change here? The change is 9.5, as that is 0.5. That becomes 10, so this is 2.5. Okay, this is a change of 2.5, and this is a change of 5. So, what's the gradient here? That is 2.5 divided by 5. And uh, I hope you can see this is nothing but 25 out of 50, which is again 0 0.5. And finally, one more just to reinforce the gradient. It's a very simple concept. Here, the change is 1. Okay. And what's the change here? The change is 2. So they all mean the same thing. It is half, which is 0 0.5. So let me show 2.5 divided by 5 is nothing but 0 0.5. So this is my calculator. 2.5 divided by 5 is 0 0.5. Okay. So in all these situations, we found that the gradient is 0. A different way of doing this you join any two points. Suppose let me join this point and this point. Okay, so this is uh, join the point means join it by drawing two uh, arrows. One showing the horizontal distance. Suppose if you want to go from this point to this point, you're asking how much do you have to run? Okay, so this is called the. So let me delete this now. We already know this. So this is called the run, okay, or the change in x. So you're running from, this is your 2, you're running from 2 to 6. This is 6, so your run is from 2 to 6, so your run is 4. And what's your rise? Your rise is from 7 to 9, so your run, sorry, your rise is 2. And 2 divided by 4 is half. Okay, now what happens if you join this point and this point like this? Okay, Oops, so let me join that properly. So if you join like this, what is happening? So let me join like this. So you're joining this point and this point. I hope you see it's playing up. So this is... I like to do my job properly. So this is your, okay, so this is, this is my rise, and this is my run. So what's the, this is my run. So you can rise, run first, rise first. So what's your rise? Rise is from, this point was 9.5. Hmm, this point is, yeah, 9.5 to 13. That is, 9.5 to 13 is 3.5. Am I right? 9.5 plus 3.5 is 13. And what's the run? Run is from, this is 7, and this is 14. This is 7, and this is 14. So the run of 7. So the gradient in that case, I'm doing all in one place. The gradient is rise over run which is 3.5 divided by 7, <coughs> which is same as 35 out of 70, which is half, which is 0 0.5. So, to write the equation of this line is, so the first answer is, what's your y-intercept? Your y-intercept is, your y-intercept is 
6 on the y axis. If you want to, the y intercept you can say is 6, and the gradient we saw in different ways is 0 0.5. So, the equation of a line now, the finally, the third thing you should know is the equation of a line it has this formula equation of a line has this wonderful formula where y is equal to m times x plus c okay where this is c and this is called m m is your gradient and c is the y-intercept so we know the gradient the gradient is 0 0.5 times x plus the y-intercept which is 6 so the equation of this line is 0.5x plus 6. Hopefully this video has been helpful. I'll do more videos on this topic of table equations and graphs.